You can send and receive a fax on your computer. You don't need a fax machine. You don't need any special equipment except a way to connect your computer to the telephone plug in the wall. If your computer comes with a fax modem, you simply plug it into that. If your computer doesn't, you can buy an external USB fax modem for under 20 bucks. The software in XP is in the fax console and in Windows 7 it's in Windows Fax and Scan. The basic versions of Vista left Windows Fax and Scan and the Fox console out. The rest of this discussion is based on Windows XP. So let me demonstrate just how you do it. It is far from rocket science. There is a fax console in your programs in accessories dash communications. You go to start programs accessories and you look for communications and there you see fax. When you get to fax you click on fax console. And the first thing you have to do there is configure your computer for fax. This way. You click on tools in the fax console and then you configure or you click on configure fax. And you come to the fax configuration wizard and you simply put in the things that are specific to you. Mine is already configured so my name is in, my fax number which is my regular telephone number, uh, my home phone, uh, some information about my addresses, etc. You get all that done it picks the fax device which is in your computer. It's a, a fax modem built into your computer and you check enable send and enable receive and then you decide whether to automatically answer after a certain number of rings which is not good if you're using your regular telephone number so I select manual answer. You get all done and you tell it what to do with the faxes that you receive you pick a folder to put them in and you're done. Finish. Now let's talk about uh, how you actually send a fax uh, once you are configured to do so. Well you go back to the fax console in accessories and communications and as with many programs you go to file. You click File and the first option is Send the Fax. You click that and you get a Send Fax Wizard which helps you create and send a fax. First you have to decide who you're going to send it to. We're going to send it to Joe Fax. Uh, he's in the United States. Uh, his uh, telephone number is 808 uh, 563-0242 which happens to be my cell phone number. Uh, we're going to use the dialing rules and I have dialing rules for whether I'm in San Diego or in Kailua. I'm in San Diego so the dialing rules will tell the fax uh, modem to dial a 1 first and then 808 and then the number because it's not in the San Diego area code you set up the dialing rules by clicking here telling them what your area code is. So now we go next and uh, here's the fax. It's going to be just a subject line and uh, a note. And we're going to click next and it's going to ask us when you want to send the fax uh, which, you can, which usually is now and what the fax priority is uh, and when you're ready to send your fax, 
you can go back and preview it if you want and uh, here's what it looks like when it goes to uh, Joe Fax uh, who's at this number it tells uh, Joe Fax that Hank Drayton is at this number if he wants to send a fax back and uh, here's the fax so we go back to the completing the send fax wizard and the computer and the fax went now that is fine for a document that you make up on the spot and send out as a fax a very short document but supposing you have uh, a document already in your computer maybe it's uh, one page like this one uh, maybe it's 10 pages well however many pages you can send a word document uh, by printing it in the fax mode. Let me show you how. You click File, you click Print, and when you get to the details of the print menu, you will usually see that the printer name is the printer that you usually use. Well, in Microsoft Word, or in fact, if you don't have Microsoft Word, in in um, WordPad or any other word processing program you can change the printer that you were going to use and one of the options is fax and when you click OK with fax selected it takes you back to the fax wizard you uh, select who you want to send it to again and then after you get all through with those things and get to finish it will send the document that you had on the screen when you went to print there is one other common thing that happens uh, when people call you up and say I want to fax you something they'll fax you a document for you to sign uh, they want you to sign it and then fax it back for that you do need a piece of a equipment you need a scanner if you have a scanner you receive the fax you print it out on your printer you uh, sign it you put it in your scanner then you scan it into a word document and you go back to here you uh, click file and print and select the fax mode of printing and fax back the thing that you received as a fax and signed and are now faxing back. All right, we've configured uh, the fax uh, program in your computer. We've uh, shown you how to send a fax a couple of different ways. And now let's talk about receiving a fax. That's a little trickier if you have just one phone line. But I do it all the time. Um, someone says, I want to send you a fax. Maybe they'll say it to me by uh, email and I'll give them my regular telephone number and then I say but you have to call me uh, and talk to me on that number just before you send the fax and they do and I say are you ready to send it right now and they say yes and then I say okay as soon as you hang up send the fax and then my phone rings and when it rings a little box comes up in the lower right hand corner of my screen that says the line is ringing click here to answer this call as a fax call and when I click there my computer sends a high-pitched signal back down the line to whoever is calling to tell that uh, fax machine that my computer is answering this call as a fax. To review, there is a fax console on your computer. 
You get to it by going to Accessories, Communications, and Facts. To set up your computer so that you can send and receive faxes, you have to go to Configure Fax after you get to the Fax console. And there are two or three ways of sending a fax once it is configured, once your computer is configured, and a, a very simple way of receiving a fax by clicking the little box that uh, comes up in the lower right hand corner of your computer indicating that a fax is ready to be received. That little uh, box will come up no matter what kind of a call you're getting, so you need to know that uh, the call that you are receiving is a fax call. I hope this has been helpful to you. It sure has been to me learning this uh, a couple of years ago. Saved me a lot of trips to Kinko's. <laughs>